Good morning and welcome to the 2015 NAI Women's Soccer National Championship Selection Show. Broadcasting from our studio inside the NAI headquarters in downtown Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Alan Grossbach and I'm joined by Chad Waller. Over the course of the next few minutes, Chad and I will present the 32 qualifying teams and the bracket for the 32nd annual event. This year's championship opens Saturday, November 21st with 15 opening round matches. These are held at campus sites. Winners of those matches join host University of Mobile at the championship final site in Orange Beach, Alabama, November 30th through December 5th. Now for those new to NAI soccer, there are two ways a team can make the national championship field. A program can qualify as a conference, regular season champion, tournament champion, or tournament runner-up depending on that conference. Leagues with 12 or more schools receive two automatic berths, while conferences with less get one. The other method is by receiving an at-large berth. These spots are given to the highest rated teams in the final modified ratings percentage index or MRPI that do not receive an automatic spot. The MRPI was created by a joint NEI Men's and Women's Soccer Committee in 2010 as a result of a directive by the NEI's National Administrative Council to have a standardized system in place for selecting at-large qualifiers and seeding the national tournament. This MRPI consists of the team's modified win percentage, opponent's win percentage, and the cumulative ratings points from each of the coach's top 25 polls. Now, each of those three values have a weighted percentage calculated in the MRPI. Now that we've explained how teams are chosen, let's get to what we've all been waiting for. It's time to announce the field for the 2015 NAI Women's National Championship. Okay, we begin our look at the NAI Women's Soccer National Championship bracket by looking at the upper left-hand section. We start with Mid-South Conference Tournament Champion and overall number one seed Lindsey Wilson hosting Point Park, who is the Kentucky Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Tournament Champion themselves. Moving down the bracket, we've got Kansas Wesleyan University, who is the KCAC Tournament Champion, hosting number 16 Our Lady of the Lake, who is the Red River Athletic Conference Tournament Champion. The third game in that section of the bracket is number nine, Grace, at large number three, hosting Park University, who is the American Midwest Conference tournament runner-up. And the last of the four matchups in this upper left-hand section features Embry-Riddle, Arizona, who is the CalPAC Conference tournament champion, traveling to number eight, Westmont, who is the Golden State Athletic Conference tournament champion. In the lower left section of the opening round bracket, we have number five seed Mobile, who earned an automatic buy as the host berth for the final set event. Eastern Oregon University, who qualified as a Cascade Collegiate Conference Tournament runner-up, they will host number 12 seed Biola, the at-large number five team. Campbellsville, Kentucky, the number 13 seed, they earned a berth as the at-large number six, they will host Ashford University out of Iowa, the Association of Independent Institutions Tournament Champion. Lastly, on the left, lower left part of the bracket, we have number four seed Benedictine, the host school, as they qualified winning the Heart of America Athletic Conference Tournament. They will host Trinity International, who qualified as a Chicagoland Collegiate Athletic Conference Tournament Champion. In the upper right hand section of the NAI Women's Soccer Championship bracket, we've got number two, Northwestern Ohio, who was the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference Tournament Champion, hosting Morningside, who was the Great Plains Athletic Conference Tournament Champion. Next, we've got number 15, Hastings, out of the Great Plains Athletic Conference. They were the regular season champion. They host St. Ambrose, who was the Chicagoland Collegiate Athletic Conference regular season champion. Continuing to move down, we've got number 10, Kaiser, the Sun Conference Tournament Champion, hosting Reinhardt, who is the Ath Appalachian Athletic Conference Tournament Champion. And lastly, in that section of the bracket, you've got number seven, Martin Methodists, at large number two, hosts Science and Arts Sooner Athletic Conference Tournament Champion on that Saturday. And lastly, we look at the lower right section of the opening round bracket. We start with number six seed, Spring Arbor University, as they qualify with winning the Crossroads League Tournament Championship. They will host Carroll College out of Montana, who qualified as the Cascade Collegiate Conference regular season champion and tournament champion. Next, we have number 11, Baker University. As they qualified as the at-large number four, they will host Viterbo out of Wisconsin, as they qualified as the North Star Athletic Association Conference tournament champion. 
Number 14 seed Vanguard out of California qualified as the at-large number seven. They will host Columbia out of Missouri who qualified as the American Midwest Conference regular season and tournament champion. Lastly, in the lower right section of the bracket, we have number, number three seed, William Carey University, who qualified as the at-large number one. They will host Georgia Gwinnett, who qualified as the Association of Independent Institutions Conference Tournament runner-up. And here again is a look at the entire field for this year's 2015 NAIA Women's Soccer National Championship. Simple reminder, these games will be played out on campus sites November 21st. This coming weekend should be some great soccer on that Saturday. That puts a wrap on today's show. On behalf of everyone at the NAI, I want to congratulate the schools, coaches, and players on a great season. For more information on the NAI Women's Soccer National Championship, visit the National Championship page on NAI.org and follow us on Twitter at our NAI underscore news account. I'd also like to say a quick thank you to our producer-director Chris Pop and my co-host Chad Waller. Thank you for watching.